Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Previously on Kung Fu Maintenance, at least for you. The only fan that works on here, brand new. I can feel it vibrating. I'm touching the fan. I'm not sure what's going on. Everything's wired properly. So this is when I turned off the power and changed out the light cap portion, just the bottom half of the ceiling fan. So this one I had to change out the bottom half, the light kit, which actually contained the capacitor, the ceiling fan pole, and the directional switch, and then boxed up the other deal to send it back. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, you might remember the ceiling fan. I had uh, needed to send it back because it wasn't working. Um, cool thing was the company contacted me and they actually credited me for the ceiling fan. But told me I could keep the ceiling fan for parts at no point and or I could discard it um, which means I'm out to fix it. <laughs> now I have the excuse and got credited for the fan so how cool is that? <laughs> I'm pretty glad. So I got my meter here, I got my tools and we're gonna see if we can figure this out as soon as I can get into my tape. Now, all of our problems existing at this point right here, I may need to take this all out though. So I'll be testing this with a multimeter, but you do want to practice safety even with your multimeter, even though it's only powered by a small amount of voltage. If that voltage crosses up across your heart, it can be deadly. There have been fatalities from them, so. Okay. That was the wrong portion anyway. What we need is this portion here. Okay, so let me get this back up and going, and let's see what's going on. So, got a couple things. So, power, here's our main power supply that clicks up to the fan. And, it's most likely our black coming in is the, the feed hot. So I'm going to set my meter to continuity and let's see here. So here's black and let's see, this would feed from the portion so the top portion would feed down in it's got black blue and white blue would be the lights black would be the hot and the neutral blue would be the the lights hot so back to this Black would be the incoming hot, would go into the switch control here, and then and then would go to, so I may have to undo some of this stuff here, add my own wire nuts after in order to be able to test it. So What we need to know is, is, is it in the switch? Is it in the capacitor? Do we have a bad capacitor? Do we have a bad switch? There we go. So, pop that out. Give us a little more ease of room here to see what's going on. So the black hot goes straight to the switch which is split off from there to either the blue switch top or the purples or the yellow. Okay. 
Then it goes to the reversing switch. So I'm going to start with the black hot. I'm going to link this down into the deal so it's connected there. And then we're going to see if we have continuity anywhere on any of these switches. Switched lines, which would be probably most likely this purple hot incoming from the capacitor. So it's gonna be these are soldered on, so I don't think I can really get in there to so but I can take this apart and we can test it from there. So that's the incoming hot and from there switched. And then we've got our different speeds for whatever our switch is set to. So it switches connection and then feeds out the... It goes from the switch to the capacitor via any of the switch deals. So you need to take apart this this is a crimp on connection, so there we go. Okay. And let's see if we have continuity. Yeah. Got a sweep for a second. What happened? What happened? That wasn't just me. So, so far, no continuity. There we go. So we are getting power across. Here's off. Okay. So let's see what else we got. It's feeding um, power to the switch and also what I'm surprised is that we don't get continuity on any other switched zone. So let's see. So our hot comes in and goes to the switch and then is switched through the purple. And this is only a purple out. So it must be going through the capacitor. Reversing doesn't matter. Okay. And then the question is, why didn't it work? If if it is making the connection, why didn't the fan turn on at all? So let's pop this capacitor out. And take a look at the capacitor. I think it's just glued in. Just one budge. So I'll grab my screwdriver. Got like double sided tape. Some strong tape. There we go. 
Okay. So let's take a look here. Now we've got a blue switch top, a yellow switch top. And my thought is that all of them should feed feed out to there, any one of them. So the fact that we only have continuity along the yellow or along the purple when that switched is awfully suspect to me. It makes me suspect this capacitor. And Kind of a sealed unit, um, but I may be changing that. So let's see. Um, it's 4.5 capacitance, 5 and 6 microfarads, depending. So purple is listed as 6 microfarads. My thought is that's probably your high speed. Um, so now let's do a microfarad test. I'm going through the hot wire again, black hot wire, and then we're going to test microfarads on that. We got continuity. Now let's see what our microfarads read at. Thirty. Three hundred fifty. Forty-five. Seems like I'm getting a kind of a poor read here. So let's see if we can get a better read on that. You can see it takes a bit to catch up. not getting any read now. I think we have a bad capacitor. And again, this should have different capacitance. for each switched setting. So let's see. I believe we've got a bad capacitor here. So I'm going to try changing this with another capacitor. And we'll see. Okay, so back to ohms. We've got continuity on that one. Set it to microfarads. nothing. But now we're going to switch our fields. I got 
ohms. Next one, 6 ohms. Next one, 0 0.2. Next one, plus or minus 5%, but that's of 6. So we've got a bad capacitor here. It's showing 11 ohms on that setting. 6 ohms on that setting. And 0 0.02 ohms. Microfarads, not ohms. Definitely showing off ohms. of where we want to be. It seems that our switch is working. But it seems that our capacitor is is off. So I'm going to try changing this with here's our well, I'll need that disconnected anyway. So go grab the other capacitor and pull it apart. One other thing I wanted to check was the negative wire. This is the gray wire, I believe, which is most likely a neutral, similar to the white. Let's see all the whites and the gray link up, so it's a neutral. So this gray is the neutral, and it's possible that we just lost the neutral. So let's pull this apart, peek in there. wasn't very much twisted together. And let's see through the neutral. Okay. Got it. Oh gosh. Gonna go through the neutral here one of the neutrals. They actually all linked up together, so one of the neutrals and the neutral. And I have no continuity. These goes right to here. So let's check that. It goes to the gray wire. Okay. This gray wire Connects right here. Oh gosh, to the other, to the other neutral. So something's wrong there. I think our problem is actually right here in this bundle. I think that the neutrals are not connecting. Cause look, here's a white wire. It's linked to this gray wire, which is separate from this gray wire, so never mind. <laughs> this gray wire. Okay. <coughs> oh gosh. Hard on the feet, hard on the legs. Hmm. But still what's odd is if these wires are linked together, and they are, then I should have, oh, those are, but not this one. Okay, next question is, where does this gray wire connect to on the, Okay. 
that's not important because it worked with a different when I changed this piece on the other fan it worked so everything connected there is okay so I think we're going to have a bad capacitor just kind of wanted to believe it was in the this is all sealed so and our capacitor showed like 12 ohms which is way outside the range of of our expected ohms just what was weird was how um, we did not um, so it could be the switch it could be this could be this switch anything's possible at this point uh, yep, very strange. Alright. Okay, here's the ceiling fan I'm going to try to take it from. Um, good idea just to verify that it's working properly. And it is. Okay, so I'll turn it off. And power is off. So here's a switch and a light kit. This one's on a remodel, so it's getting remodeled, getting trashed out. And but I need those parts. So work out good. So I'm not worried about the old ones. Just, like I say, I'm just getting remodeled, so. Don't have to really worry about anything here. So, we'll be able to see our, there we go, there's the light kit. And, I'll show you on this one, it's got the same size capacitor. 4.5, 6, and a 5 microfarads. So it's similar. Um, what I may do on this one is take the switch and take the, the uh, fan pole. And this way, really no question. There's the fan pole, undo the The three way switch for the fan. So, just in case our problem was somewhere else, and let's see if we can take the switch as well. So, although this switch is white, so I'm not sure I really want to go with that, but we'll see. I don't know. Give me my options, right? Get all options open just in case here. At least that's what's needed. We still haven't determined where our problem is. Really. Okay. So I'm going to keep those little screws as well. And now we're going to see here how this all hooks up. This one's got a gray wire that goes to here, a red wire. The red wire passes through, it looks like, so I'll need to take out that one. The yellow wire passes through, so I'm going to need to take out that one. Yeah, all kinds of fun here. <laughs> Probably just going to wind up taking everything with me and then I'll figure it out later. Just cut it all off and that'll be that. And then the other one's getting chunked out. And I could 
at it, and if we get to this now, I'll figure it out later. Okay. So, power does come up down through the top through the blue and black wires, so I can cap those off just to make it safer for anybody. And they're actually linked together on the other side, so I can link them here and just cap them off. That way there's no safety issue. And beyond now, if someone turns the switch on, no problem. I just turn the switch on, no problem. And I'll just make that a little safer. It's not uh, totally necessary, but that's the way I did it. And then we've got our now our collaboration of capacitor and we'll see how this goes and it'll be kind of interesting to rule out what's going on on this one so see was it our switch was it our capacitor time will tell okay so let the fun continue we got our new capacitor and now I'll be able to take some measurements on this and see um, what our sizes are uh, got a couple different well options for wire nuts and all that to hook things up um, but let's see here what we got here how, how we can test this and see and just get a comparison now we got on our original deal we had the black wire going in um, on this one we'll be able to pretty much mimic the same deal um, this one has a switch right here, we'll input, or we can strip off the black wire here, so I'll do that, and we'll compare kind of what we've got going on here, so here's the black wire, and I could pick a better place to do this with, but it is what it is. So I wrap this around here. That'll make testing a lot easier. In theory. Okay. And one, let's see. So on this one, we went purple. And looks like this one's a purple in. Looks like a red out. Um, this one, oh, it's hard to say. <laughs> so, this one we've got our black going in. Looks like this one's got gray out. Uh, looks like we've got a red out that's uh, disconnected here. So, let's separate that one and let's see what we've got. Here's the red. Okay. What did I do? Okay. Got the black one here. And we've got red here. And let's take a microfarad reading and see if we show anything. And we may have to go through the switches. Try just an ohms test. Nothing there. Our experiment is not going so good, is it? According to this, red, no, it shows gray and red would be six microfarads. So, let's see, looks like, oh shoot, a 
on this one. On this one, gray and purple would be five microfarads. Yeah. Well, this is not, not my area of expertise. Um, definitely. <laughs> gray and purple. So, gray and purple. Got nothing. Gonna see if we can get continuity first on gray and purple. I got nothing. Hmm. Well, once again, I can change my switch and the deal together. That seems about the easiest. <sighs> but it, this is not exactly a like for like deal. So this one's got gray and red. This one uses gray instead of the purples. So the two the two grays here and it looks like it switches with this one here. So and that will not uh, really tell us. Let's see on our switch here on this one. This switch is black, brown, and gray. And this one's black. The old one's black, yellow, and purple. And this one's black, brown. Yeah. So this one it switches with the yellow wire. And these other two colors are the same. Purple. Except on this one, purple goes to the R side. Oh gosh, it's so confused. It gets confusing. <laughs> oh, ay yeah, yeah. This one would switch with the yellow. This one would switch with the, the red one would switch with the gray. Okay. This one's the bottom gray one. Wow, it gets kind of crazy. Okay, so here's the gray and red. Okay, so on this indicator it shows red on the top, and this one shows gray. So we've switched those two. And then this one's gray and gray, gray and gray, this one's purple and purple. So we're going to be switching those, uh, this one is going to go here and then this purple other purple one is going to go here uh, no so this one is gray Gray and gray, and 
instead of purple. gray going through the switch. So we'll need to save the switch just in case so I don't want to cut that too short. And that's going to that switch. So these are switching for the purples here. So let's strip these off. Our microfarads match. Uh, oh, well, they're close. <laughs> Six and five is reversed here. Six and five. But it won't matter. We'll just switch through the speeds to make it happen. So, okay. So here's the purple one. And then this other purple one's already connected here on the bottom, so we can just separate there and connect it to the bottom here. And it is possible that we've had a bad switch. Here's this purple one. Let me just strip this and run it here. Okay. And I wanted to test before. We had uh, the hot wire. Well, that's what we've got to hook up here now is the hot wire. <laughs> to say the least, it is a pretty confusing deal. Okay. So, now we've got the blue, the yellow, and the gray. The blue is going to go to the purple one here. yellow to the brown one here. And the gray one we've already connected has the red. Okay. So now we got the purple. We have the blue to the purple. And the brown to the yellow. And there's our capacitor. So we got the blue to the purple and the brown to the yellow. And if it was our capacitor, well, we're fixed. And if it was not, then we need to change our switch. Okay, 
Turn of those. And now these. We know we had hot coming in. Um, I don't know. It seemed like a bad capacity. We are going to find out. Oh, jeez. I think it just kind of snapped the switch. It's still alive, but hey. Okay, so now we've got brown and yellow. And purple and blue. And I need another wire net. Stick it on our sticky tape. Okay, and I just need another wire nut. Have one in my pocket. I like to find a little small one. Big one. That likes to hide when you need it. There we go. Got a little black one. All right. So now we're all switched there. And it's ready to test it out. Okay. This one, I guess I could have tested the microfarads. That would have been, originally we had it on the purple, outcoming purple, which was this one. So let's see if I can do that. Okay, so we got it on the incoming hot. I'm going to save that. We may need that still. <laughs> so, got the incoming hot, which is the bottom black wire right there. Okay, and then continuity right here, and we switched it to get there. There it is. We've got continuity. Okay, only on the one. So that's the same. And now I'll switch to microfarads. And let's see when we switch what we measure. 11.41. 5.25. That one's good. 0. 0.19. Line. Eleven point four. Hmm. Still seems higher than what we wanted. Five point twenty five. Oh, I see. Well, it uses a combination of the thing so it can have 6 plus 5 to equal 11 so it uses a combination of the microfarads to reach the uh, desired microfarad 
So the only way at this point is going to be to try it. <laughs> we won't know. We'll find out. And it could still be the switch. So I'll save the switch. I'm just going to cut it free. And I also have the, the uh, directional switch as well. I don't think it's that. Um, so let's go try it out. We'll save this switch. This is still useful, except that I think I might have lost the cap somewhere. But if I was changing it with this one, I'd be using the brush nickel cap anyway. So that's that. I'll save this anyway. Actually, I'm going to bring it with me just in case. And I bring this deal. And we'll just bring the lid. And that's that. Now here's our old capacitor. Now uh, you can sometimes get these online. Um, I didn't have access to getting it online fast enough. Um, I just had an old unit that was getting uh, remodeled and so it was getting demoed anyway. So we'll see how it works out. Alright. Okay, here ready to test this one out. So I'm going to turn this one off. And we're going to pull the old one down. This one's probably going to be kind of hot. <laughs> uh, I've got the power turned off now. We can slow that down. There's one. It's got three screws all the way around. This one, just get it started, and get the next one. Okay. And it's just three screws, not too bad. This one. It's got a little button that you just push the back of the button. Now it's disconnected. Alright. We'll set that one down. And now we're ready to test. It'd um, be nice to use a bulb. I, have, I can take a bulb out of the old one and, and test it, but not so much concerned with that as we are with the Here's the little button to press to release it. I probably won't be able to show it that well, but it lines up with the arrow. So you just line the arrow up with the button. Actually, I'm wrong. The arrow's on the other side. You just line both arrows up. So, I'm not sure if I can... My hat. <laughs> it probably doesn't work very well. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so I'm going to turn this backwards. Line up the arrows. Push the button. Oh gosh, seems like the something's not lining up very good. I think when I, I move that pin over when I inserted the so I need to kind of move that pin back over just by going like that. There we go. Adjust it the position. Tricky, tricky, tricky. So I 
see I'm lining up the arrows. Oh gosh, I can't get it in there. Okay. Let's see if another one of these is off. Leave that one. It makes you wonder if that could have been part of the original problem. There it goes. Okay, we're in now. Okay, and it'd be nice to get one light bulb in there, so I'm going to try to take off the other cover. to verify the power. It's actually not too hot. This looks good. And there we go. Okay. So our fans over here, our lights on this side, we're ready to turn it on. Here it goes. Okay, our light worked and now we're ready for the fan. Uh oh. Oh, that's the light. <laughs> okay. Now we're ready for the fan. Oh, we got nothing. Looks like we had a bad fan switch, not our capacitor. Okay. Turn that off. Disconnect this. Okay. I'm going to take the bulb back out just so I don't damage it while I'm working on this. Okay. And we're going to try to change that switch instead. Okay. Uh, luckily, I have one more wire net in my bag because I need that. Here's our switch. So I need to strip these off. Which end here. And I guess I could have messed with the directional switch, but I don't think it was that. It was switched all the way one way. Sometimes if they're half switched, that can be an issue. This one, the brown wire came all the way out of the, the brown peg. Can insert it back, hopefully. Let's strip this side first. Here, there we go. Wrap that. It's just inserts. These are a push push in wiring hopefully it's going to grab I, it's turning into that kind of a there it is okay Whew, got it you know and that can be what's going on with this other deal is it could have Can't all be easy. There's that one. And now the gray one. Okay. Just want to make sure we've kept all our strands. Now on this uh, existing one, 
course the colors are a little different. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need to cut the black wire or pull it out of its socket. And then we're going to need to match the... This one's pretty easy. The gray one goes to gray. <laughs> That part's easy. I should just sit down here. Struggling. There's the gray. Okay. Here's the brown, Here's the yellow one here. And get the black and then the purple. Which was the blue one on there? Okay. That was kind of my initial instinct was to just change the switch with the deal. I didn't do it because this one has a different color. Um, you know. But that was kind of my initial thought there. Wow, this is going to be a tricky one. Obviously, we need this to go in. I may have to reposition the capacitor on the other side. Oh shoot. Okay. Our brown wire pulled back out. Jeez. That's not good. There it is. Oh gosh. It's got kind of a weak connection. Don't like that at all. Well, this is the science experiment to see if this is going to work at all. Oh, geez. It's the wrong size thread. Man, I can't win today, I tell you. I may have to go find the cap on this one, it's not uh, critical yet, but it's going to be. Okay, so here's the, the black. The incoming hot. Okay. Hot. This one, the purple disconnected, which was oh, I didn't connect it. Yet. Purple right here. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll just not put that in yet. This way, it has no tension, and then I can go find that that connector because this is a little a little rough. <laughs> To say the least, this one is way rough. Okay, now here's the black. I'm actually going to change this one for this one since it's a little bigger. 
this one for this one since it's a little smaller. Okay, we're all in. We're all in. The tricky part is just going to be pulling this. Don't try any of this at home <laughs> or work. This one was crazy. Okay, so this one, going to connect it up, clip it in. Okay, and now we're ready to turn it on. Um, Pull back in. We'll verify that we have power. Okay, we've got power. Turn the bulb out, and then let's try the fan. So, gotta pull this here. I hear it. But it's not running. So they've either either wired it wrong or it's on the directional switch that is off. Okay, switch that. Oh. So looks like something's wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, checking for voltage. Well, we've got voltage. We don't have voltage going to our other deals. All right. So I turn that off and we'll disconnect it. And our problem is different than. I think it's um, perhaps how it's originally wired from the manufacturer. And my thought is that these two need to switch, the red and the red. The two grays, maybe those got switched for what they should be. Um, this one. And this one. At this point, it's I, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, just don't know. It's got this gray and this gray. Those would be the most likely ones to be reversed. This gray. So this gray would go to this purple instead. to this gray. It's probably, well, what I'm thinking is it's a factory error. And it could be completely wrong and this is just kind of nuts. Okay, so we've got power turned off and now we're ready to plug it back in and test it out. Nothing. 
reverse direction on the fan. Nothing. Okay. So what is it? <laughs> the question is, what is it? Um, and it's a good chance now that it's the directional switch. So I'm going to go ahead and change this back. Since we swapped those. change the directional switch. It's uh, all I have left there. It's an odd one. And it's a mess of one. <laughs> it's possible we just have like a poor connection in here somewhere. I mean just the most Simplest of things could happen. So, all right. It's a lot of wires to change direction. That's my guess: is that something is on the on the direction or on the neutral. Probably going to need to separate these wires. I may need a few extra wire nets. I'm going to go ahead and peek inside see if all of our connections are good. There's this one. That one. Those all seem pretty good. all seem good too. Alright, let's change the switch. So what I thought here is to compare to the old one to see the wire positions and make sure everything is the same. So this one's brown and red. That's the same. Gray and purple. Gray and purple. That's the same. Red and brown. And that's the same. Um, obviously our ship has sailed on changing everything else. All we have left is that switch. So um, here's the new switch on this one. Obviously colors are way different, so it's going to be a little tricky. Okay, so here's our old switch and our new switch. And we're going to try. an incoming purple wire here. Wow. Okay, I'm going to separate off this neutral here. It's possible it was just a bad switch. Oh, gosh. Okay. Neutrals all separated there. Um, got two pinks here. Let's separate off these.
going to be too bad. Bad enough, but not too bad. Okay. So, brown is our yellows. And it is crazy that they use different colors. That's the way it is. Okay. I'm going to try to set my switch in here and see if the stainless steel screws will go in here. Since this is like changing colors, I'd rather use these if possible. Keep it as close to the color it's going to be as possible. That worked good. switch operates okay so that's important okay so this one's got the center gray neutral go into this one with these neutrals okay so we'll mimic that Let's see if I can pass that through the cable tie I don't know about that but there it is <laughs> neutrals it's not an easy easy deal all right so what's next okay now we got our yellows with the browns so there's two browns here and they they meet up with this other brown saw earlier the colors are changed so to the brown Ooh. and this one has reds with uh, yeah okay so let's separate this okay we'll leave the red inside there that not that with the switch uh oh still got a purple to connect so we'll figure that out that's going to be the gray wire here it's going to go to the purple okay yeah not too bad so here's the browns with the yellow okay and now here's the reds with the red one to the purple. So we'll just need to cut the and strip the purple. That went pretty good. This one I have to start over on this purple one going into the gray. You can see even this was the original gray. So you could almost if you had enough room you could do the gray straight to the gray. But I don't think we have enough room. We need enough room to pass that deal through, so. There we go. Purple to gray. Okay. And 
can use one of these crimp on connections or we can use our wire net there it is the permanent crimp connection it's better to use a crimper but this one grabbed nice and tight pulled it doesn't come out so that's that okay now our directional switch has changed and let's see how it goes I'm for the test um, just wanted to double check this brown wire and it's okay okay uh, I need to recover all my screws and stuff I put in there Directional switch. Look at that. All right, we're gonna change directions. Go the other way. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, here we can change speeds. Yeah, there's high speed. It's a done deal. So that whole thing was the directional switch. Now. Um, I'm curious to test this directional switch. I'll go ahead and turn the fan off so we can safely put it back together and everything. Um, but just wanted to examine a little bit on this directional switch, what actually happened. So this one, the browns and the browns go together and the reds and the reds and the gray is the neutral. So in theory, the red is the initial hot. Oh shoot, and there's the purple too. So, let's see. All right, so, well, we did figure uh, out a little bit here. Um, one thing I did want to test was how can we test this switch here? And, you know, what's tricky is I, uh, well, it's going to be a continuity test. And because the switch is bad, it may, it may not even test out at all. So I was hoping to find like an easy way to test them, but this, this one's, you know, it's bad. <laughs> it should be the hot. Well, like I said, this one's bad, so, oh, you know, what can you do? It's the, let's see if I can pull this off here. And this one, of course, isn't even going to test because it's not going to, it's, anyway, from here, this is your hot and then switch top and another set of switch tops. Switch tops moving one direction, switch top going another direction, and I believe this is the neutral. So normally it would go through here and then would go to one hot or the other. Don't want to touch both leads. Um, anyway, this, this one was bad. Don't know if it's just the connection where it goes in or internally. If we can get into this switch and see. It does come apart. But let's just get in too much into that. Okay, so now for my other ceiling fan. Um, this <laughs> the one that's up there. This is our original, so we can put that back. Mm -hmm. Or I can use this one 
Uh, problem with this one was that the, this deal is going to be the wrong color and this deal would be the wrong color as well. Probably not really a big deal. Hmm. Um, I don't know. But I could change the switch back because we did prove out that it was our other deal. Battery died. Um, since we proved out that it was our directional switch, I can change uh, this switch back. I need to strip the hot side. Alright, do this. Since it's the correct color. And I also didn't like like how that brown wire um, kind of is coming out for easy on this one. So. Anyway, so we've got the black hot wire on the switch. Yeah. So now we've got the, if I remember right, the, oh gosh, with the purple, and then the brown, which is blue on here. Brown. I got this wrong here. Okay. Purple's going to purple. Yeah, I can just look on the old capacity. Brown goes to yellow. And then blue will go to gray.
this one, the other brown. Double check that. The black goes the hot. Okay. The yellow on this one goes to the middle yellow, which is the brown, so that's correct. And then the blue goes on this one, the blue goes to the first blue. So I got this wrong. The blue goes here. And then the purple goes to the top purple here. So that's this is off right now. Yay. It's kind of crazy. You say the least. Okay. Let's get this all cleaned out, cleaned up, and ready for install. Got my sticky tape that I can stick the capacitor back on. There we go. Very nice. Position all the wiring where it'll be nice and out of the way. Uh, looks like I've got a good amount of room up inside there. Now we're ready to hook it up and verify everything works. Let's see how our directional switch. Oh, that looks nice. It's white instead of yeah, the other one is black. of a way really to test this it's either it's making the connection or not so um, I'm not sure how much this help this will be to anybody <laughs> and um, it's more interesting than every, anything probably not really worth going through enough most of the time you're just going to be a new fan and that's going to be at um, line these up with yeah. Looks like this has a slot where the label goes, right here. For that one too. Okay, 
was a wild one. <laughs> All right, let me change the other bulb from this one. This one is the light, so it's the light indicator. Okay. And the fan. It's the fan indicator. It's a bend deal. I'll fix the cover of the light. Fixed it, changed it with the directional switch. <laughs> All set. But at least that shows how to change out a capacitor um, and how to uh, for a ceiling fan. Obviously, you want to be very careful. Electricity is dangerous. Capacitors do store a charge even after the power is disconnected, so you often want to discharge them. Uh, this one's a small amount, you know, of microfarads. Um, not sure if it has a built-in resistor to cancel out, but um, oftentimes you can bridge the leads to neutral and uh, that way discharge the capacitor. Um, yeah, this was an awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tug for maintenance. Over and out. This one's back in the mix. I don't think anyone will ever notice about the switch. The switch is light instead of... Um, you know, there's a high speed. It's a done deal. Thanks for watching. All right. The cool thing is now I have a good capacitor to save, and I also have a switch that I can save. So, all right. And you can save the whole thing with him. It's a done deal. Just a little cleanup now. It's a done deal, so I can pack this one. Back up for reuse. 
All right. Done deal. Really great. inside this thing because I want to know what happened. So let's see if we can tear this open. We've got channel lock for any number of other ways to get in there. Looks like a flat blade would do it. Here's a chisel. Oh, I did it. Oh, look at the contacts. The contacts are fried. Look at that. It's like the points or whatnot. Even that one just came apart. So that was it. <laughs> At least we proved it out what it was. Wow. That's what did it. Bad. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are. You should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. Thank you. 